IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1 was released in April 2020 and represents the first major update of the year. Here are five key new features that every Java developer should know about. Fed up of endlessly searching for the right JDK online? This new feature integrates the downloading of JDKs directly into the IDE. You can choose to download from a list of vendors including OpenJDK and Adopt OpenJDK, and you can choose from many different JDK versions. Once the download is finished, you can toggle your project between JDK versions like normal. This feature can be accessed from several locations in the IDE, including from the file Project Structure dialog under SDKs, and from the tooltip which appears when you have no JDK configured. When navigating around large code bases, you may find yourself searching for usages and implementations all the time. Code Vision automatically brings this information to the editor in line. You can click the text to show a list of usages or implementations, then jump to one that you're interested in. Note that if it's just a single usage or implementation, clicking the link will jump straight to the relevant code. Code Vision has to be enabled in the File, Settings, Editor, Inlay Hints, Java, Code Vision settings. You can choose to show hints for usages and inheritors, or in other words, implementations. If you're a stickler for the command line, you can now split the terminal both vertically and horizontally to make the most of your screen real estate. Just right click on the terminal tab to open the context menu to see the split options. Here for example, I've chosen to split the terminal vertically. IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1 is not only a great Java IDE, but its editor works well for viewing all sorts of different types of files, from XML to YAML. Previously, if you wanted to open a single file, you had to open it in a project, but now you can open just the file itself in light edit mode. This mode is like IntelliJ IDEA, but without the usual toolbars and fluff that you'd associate with a full IDE. Files can be opened in light edit mode from the IntelliJ IDEA welcome screen. Select Open or Import and then choose the file. You can also open a file in light edit mode by using your operating system's context menu. In Windows, just right click the file, select Open With, then choose IntelliJ IDEA. If you're browsing through code, it's no fun trying to read unrendered Java doc style comments with its tags and custom syntax. IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1 allows you to render Java doc in the editor, making for a much nicer reading experience. To enable Java doc rendering, go to File, Settings, Editor, General, Appearance, then tick the Render Documentation Comments on File Opening option and click Save. These three additional features didn't quite make it to the top five list, but they're worth knowing about anyway. And with in-place method refactoring, if you change a method name or signature without using refactoring tools, a gutter icon will appear asking if you want to make the change to all of the method's usages. And now in IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1, it's so clever that it knows what's going to happen in your code before it happens. And this is because data flow analysis has been added to the debugger so that it can tell you about the future state of your application beyond the breakpoint on which you're currently stopped. And the IDE now supports Java 14, which includes some nice new language features such as records, instance of improvements, text blocks, and the new switch statement. And do let me know in the comments section what's your favorite new feature of this new version of IntelliJ IDEA. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in another video on Tom Gregory Tech.